So uh, one of the fun games to play um, whenever you come to transfer stations, because it's a really fun place. Uh, one of the games uh, that you get to play is uh, how much did that weigh? Or better yet, uh, how much did that load cost me? Hey everyone, uh, so we're back at the house. Well, really, uh, I'm back at the house um, after some cleanup. Uh, it's been uh, a little bit since we were here last. Um, I think my uh, camera actually ran out of um, storage, so I wasn't able to get kind of the, the final steps of what we were doing cleaning up the other day, my wife and I, Jenny. Um, you can see that uh, we got the rest of the scaffolding down. Uh, we got uh, the rest of this uh, ladder taken care of. I don't know if I explained this to you before, um, but I do have... Okay, hold on a second. So uh, before we get any farther, well, we're actually going to go back a few days uh, so you guys can see how much cleanup really took place. So in case you guys missed it, uh, this is the, the ladder, I guess is what I'm kind of calling it, uh, that I used to get the steel uh, roof up onto the roof itself. Uh, so this is us just trying to take it down. It actually, I think it came down just as slow as it went up. Uh, just trying to be super careful with it. All right, tip it down towards me. As you can see, Jenny was able to come and help me some today, which was huge. Super grateful that she was willing to come. This isn't a very fun or <laughs> interesting day to come help. Uh, so super grateful for her. So this pile of carnage uh, is mostly stuff from the upstairs that I'd thrown out the window uh, just because it was quick and easy to get it out there. Uh, these of course are the shingles that we tore off the roof uh, a little while back. I'm uh, just trying to get these taken care of before winter kind of sets in. We wanted to rent like a, a rental dumpster uh, which would have been great uh, but just because of the cost of them and everything that just wasn't in the cars for us right now. So this is why we do it kind of this way, uh, kind of piling it up and, and taking it out in, in stages. I think we were able to borrow this, this dump trailer and a truck, so that, that really made a big difference and helped us out. I feel like we gotta get out of here, so I might stop back and clean things up a little out right after.
All right. Now back to the original program. I don't know if I explained this to you before, um, but I do have uh, this uh, white uh, enclosed trailer uh, here that I've been using kind of as a storage uh, unit on, uh, while I take some things out of the house so that I can work on the floor. Uh, so I had the fridge, uh, the stove, uh, the oven, um, the cabinets, all that stuff went in here, uh, which was great out of the way. Didn't have to move it too many times more. Um, Anyway, uh, so I'm back here today uh, to try to take care of some of this garbage. I really only have, uh, I think, an hour, hour and a half max uh, to get it over to the transfer station. Uh, there's some stuff inside, too, that I got to grab and throw in the back of the truck. Uh, so I'm hoping to uh, run through that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> So I tried to tarp this because there's a lot of insulation and sheetrock in it. And if that gets wet, uh, the weight goes up and I pay by weight to get rid of it. Um, so hopefully that worked. Bit of moisture to this. That's uh, mostly dry, a little moldy. Okay, there's more there than I thought. Still got some trash, some bags of trash that I was hoping to get on. But it doesn't look like we're gonna make that today. So I'll finish strapping it down and let's go.
a little crisscross applesauce. I think we're ready to go. So I don't know how many of you guys ever come to the transfer station, uh, but there's a couple different spots to put things. There's a bunch of recyclings in those bins. This is all just construction garbage. Basically, you throw it here on the ground, and uh, there's those big bins like that back there. Uh, here, you can see part of one right there. Uh, and after you get dumping it, uh, they use the front loader, shove it off the edge, and then that gets uh, taken, well, transferred somewhere else. So uh, one of the fun games to play um, whenever you come to transfer stations, because it's a really fun place. Uh, one of the games uh, that you get to play is uh, how much did that weigh? Or better yet, uh, how much did that load cost me? Uh, so of course you have to get on these uh, weighing stations when you come in and figure out how much you weigh. Uh, and then on your way out, they weigh you again. And that's how they get their total. And you gotta pay per ton per weight bracket. Anyway, so I'm number three. Get back on the scale and see how we did. Ooh. Sixty-seven fifty. Sixty-seven fifty. Okay, we are through. The price was $67.50. That was in the seven to 800 bracket. So a little more expensive than what I was thinking, but that's, it's okay, that is what it is. Uh, I'll tell you a fun story. I, uh, been here once or twice. And so uh, I left, I looked, they close at 3.30. Uh, I left the house at 2.45. I was like, I got plenty of time. However, on my way there, I forgot, and I had uh, actually on my way there, I had realized uh, that they only take cash here. They don't take cards or, or anything like that. And actually, this morning I just gave all my cash to my wife for so that she could pay pay a bill she needed to pay. And uh, and so I was like, oh snap! And and mostly it's back roads here, and I had the I had that plywood on, which was well enough covered, um, but. I ended up having to drive down downtown to the bank 
and uh, the bank doesn't like my card now because my card has a crack in it so I couldn't get cash from the bank and now in my mind I'm running out of time uh, and so I had to go to the bank tried the card didn't work ended up at a gas station found an ATM and uh, I did make it here at 2, two or 3.20 and so it's oh what is it now no it's 3.22 now so I've only been here for maybe 10 minutes so so we made it So I got back to the house, went to set up the camera, and realized I don't have the tripod. Left the tripod standing up at the transfer station. Great. So I have to get a new one of those. Um, in the meantime, to clean this up, uh, I'm hoping uh, that in the next day, couple days, I can get a load of gravel. Uh, put here uh, I got to clean that up because I want it to go actually on the tarp itself um, so that I can start using it uh, to fill in uh, when I'm ready uh, for the floor which hopefully is sooner rather than later uh, so I gotta get that cleaned up uh, the other thing I want to show you guys uh, while my wife and here were they here uh, the other day cleaning you'll notice my backyard is is looking a little rugged um, that's because I haven't touched it, nor have I wanted to touch it, nor have I wanted to look at it, um, because uh, we found something. So when I was taken down, it was it's interesting story. Uh, when we were cleaning up, right, we were cleaning up all the stuff that I had thrown out from upstairs uh, down here on the ground. Uh, I was taking down the ladder thing that I had here uh, to bring uh, the roofing up onto the roof. Um, and so we were working here. I was throwing those boards up there. You kind of see them in the uh, in the tall grass. Um, and so working working over here, working over here. Uh, well, it was the end of the day. After we had taken the scaffolding down, after uh, my phone had run out of any more storage, uh, I wanted to clean up these boards here. And I grabbed the first one, and I got stung uh, on the leg. And of course, ran away like a little girl because I hate bees. Um, so, so I've made it more difficult for myself by waiting for so long because I just don't like bees. I don't like dealing with bees. Um, let me see if I can find their hole without dying again. I think it's there. See that? Maybe it's there. Maybe there's more than one hole. No, I don't think that's it. Oh, every time I see a bug, every time I see a bug, I freak out. You can see how they've, right there, eating away the grass so that they can get down into their hole, wherever that thing is. Exactly, I'm not sure. It's a bit of a cooler day, so they're not out, in and out very much. In fact, I don't think I've seen or noticed one. Uh, so I've got a ground's nest that I've got to deal with uh, and I want to do it tonight But I have to go home uh, and do some other things uh, so I won't be able to deal with it I thought about dealing with it now um, Honestly, I'm like I said, I'm a little girl when it comes to dealing with bees. I hate bees Luckily, however, uh, I was the one who found the bees and got stung. Uh, my wife is is mildly mildly allergic um, so she's not like deathly allergic, but she's mildly allergic. Um, and then I was here the other day again, talking to my neighbor, uh, going over some details on the roof. And, uh, well, we found this. Um, this actually wasn't here. Um, it was a, actually another ground's nest, a second ground's nest. Um, but I don't see it active anymore this is actually the first time that i've come back and looked at this one uh since that moment in life uh luckily i found this one before they found me and so i actually didn't get stung this time um uh, but what i actually did do uh before i left that day um was i can drive up in here with my car and so i uh, closed all the windows and drove up on as close as i could to it and took my tires back and forth and and apparently I did something because I don't see any activity. I see a big hole. That, those are all those are all good signs to me. Maybe I don't have to deal with this one after all. This whole time I thought there were two. Unless they just, you know, relocated to somewhere else in this mess that I haven't taken care of. 
which I'll inevitably find one way or another. Uh, lastly, just for clarification, uh, these are just hornets. These are hornets, wasps, whatever you want. These aren't like honeybees or anything like that. These are the these are the mean, the gnarly ones that uh, nobody likes. That I certainly don't like. Um, so uh, have to deal with them somehow. Well, I think that's about all I have for this video. I do have to load up a little more wood here into the back of the truck uh, to bring it to the burn pile back at, back home. Um, so we can burn that. Um, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you have been uh, kind of enjoying the journey, uh, riding along with me as I, I kind of figure, <laughs> figure this whole thing out. If you're new to the channel uh, and want to catch up on all that's been going on around here uh, fixing up the house uh, I'll leave a link to the playlist uh, for you for you to check out the other videos um, hope you enjoy them uh, thanks again for watching everyone